The DHCP, aka the Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, is a network management protocol used on the Internet Protocol to assign communication parameters to devices connected to the network using a client-server architecture. Got it? Ah, just kidding. It's actually kind of easy. The DHCP server typically sits inside your router and its main purpose is to assign your computer and whatever other device you have an IP address so that you may connect to the internet. So when you type in the correct password and connect to your router, the DHCP server inside that router will immediately give your computer an IP address. You're also given a lease time for your IP address, which is typically set to 24 hours. In other words, your IP is updated every 24 hours. And as previously said, since your DHCP server is stored in your router, you can access it by going to your gateway settings. Let's go to Windows Search. And there we type in command prompt. Here we can type in IP config. This will give us an overview of our IP address, our subnet mask, as well as our gateway's IP. By typing in the gateway's IP address in the browser and thereby logging in, you can access your router's DHCP settings. In my example, under the DHCP settings, you can see that the start IP address is 192.168.1.2. And my end IP address is 192.168.1.254. 192.168.1 is always the same and never changes, but the last value can range all the way from 2 to 254. This means that my DHCP server can give out a total of 252 unique IP addresses. If I want to extend this, I need to change my subnet mask. If you want to learn about subnet masks, make sure to check out my video about it. So as you can also see, the least time is set to 1440 minutes, which is the same as the typical 24 hours. There is also another option here, which is to disable the DHCP server. If I do this, I will no longer be given IP addresses and thus I will not be able to connect to the internet. But there is still a way to manually solve this problem. So let's disable our DHCP server and give it a try. So on Windows 11, you can go to Network Settings. And if you are using an Ethernet cable like me, go to Ethernet, scroll down to IP Assignment, put that on Manual, switch on IP Port, and here we need to manually set up everything that was previously just given to us by the DHCP server. Under IP address, we remember that we need to start with the static 192.168.1. And from here we need to pick a value between 2 and 254, right? So let's pick 69. So for the subnet mask, that was 255.255.255.0. And the gateway was 192.168.1.1. And for the DNS, we just use the gateway 192.168.1.1. And boom! We are connected to the internet again, but it's way easier to just use a DHCP server. Especially if you have many devices. So yes, that's pretty much DHCP. I hope you learned something.